Hello everyone and today I want to show you Godot Engine extension which allows you to create games which can be interacted with with the help of Twitch chat. So let me fire up an example which is available on GitHub. So basically uh, it is being connected, now it's connected, it's connected to Twitch chat. Here, here you can see my Twitch chat opened and this is the account which uh, the game is operating under and uh, basically it says that hi chat you can use the following commands now move x y to move rotate degrees to rotate and scale with no parameters or x y to scale uh, if you provide no parameters you will scale to simply one one so <clears throat> This allows you to simply type these commands like move 100 100 and we can see that uh, the sprite is moved to this position. Now if we want to say rotate it we just simply type want to rotate it like to 90 degrees and we get the result. Same thing for scaling say you want to scale it up to like 5-6 and we get it and then to check things let's say you want to scale it back but we don't want to provide like 1-1 one, one, and we just type scale and then we get back to the 1-1 one, one scale okay <clears throat> so this is basically the extension uh, this is uh, basically the functionality. Further on I will tell you some um, some details on how to how this is implemented and how you can write these things like using this extension. So basically what this extension does it adds it adds a custom node which is available under the create node dialog uh, which is called Twisel, which stands for Twitch Chat Interaction Layer. So basically what you need to do is to add this uh, node to your scene, then get the reference as usual, and uh, using a list of commands uh, which are connected to Twitch Chat, which simply connects to the service, then you connect to channel, using your credentials and uh, basically this is it uh, after this your client is connected and is able to receive messages and such and such by default uh, it, it is not uh, uh, it doesn't output any uh, log messages but there is an option for that so you can say like set login to true and then you will get these kind of messages these these are raw messages received from server not passed nothing done with them just <clears throat> everything the server sends you you receive here uh, take note that sensitive data also is available there so i won't scroll like too much up because you'll see it right so um uh, then after that, uh, the vital thing is to to add this interaction thing. So basically, to add those commands, you need to to tell your game that you want those commands to be interpreted in some way. So this is done by adding the interactive commands. Uh, this is done by simply uh, using this construction. So you get your Twisel node then uh, under the commands member which is the interactive commands class uh, <clears throat> you call the add method and uh, simply provide the text of the command you want to be typed by the user and then uh, a reference to to the target object and the method to be called. This is uh, really familiar for those who are used to using signals in Godot. And uh, well, two extra parameters are there, but they are optional. Uh, these parameters are, in fact, 
how many parameters do you want this command to take and uh, whether those parameters are mandatory or not. So basically <clears throat> these two commands move and rotate they both have uh, mandatory parameters uh, so by default yeah by default uh, this value is one so so command uh, command move to which is move right uh, this one the one that we moved to our uh, uh, my my mouse has died I'm sorry I'll need to pause the video and then get back to you and now I'm back so um, where were we? Right, so by default this parameter equals 1. So this move uh, command which we called for, for the as a first command it requires two parameters so uh, that is set with this parameter and uh, they are mandatory so say if we say just move in chat then nothing, uh, nothing will happen. Uh, so the under the hood mechanism is built the way that if you provide uh, an uh, ins insufficient amount of parameters, uh, the command is simply ignored. If you don't want that, if you don't want this behavior, then you set th the last parameter to true. Uh, this means that parameter count is variable so this means that you want this command to have these parameters at most but uh, you can handle any other amount of parameters less than this value so <clears throat> and let's take a look at those uh, methods so for example Let's take a look at the scale uh, method because it's one of the most uh, sophisticated, so to say, because it uses all the uh, parameters. So, um, these uh, methods you provide as callbacks for your chat commands should be methods which receive a single parameter, uh, which is a list of parameters and uh, this list has a structure at which um, the first prime uh, the first uh, item of this list will always be a string containing the sender nickname and the rest will be parameters you uh, you need for your command to operate so <clears throat> yeah so here's the, the scale command and as you can see here's some logic on defining uh, how many parameters we we are receiving so param 0 will always be there because it's sender name and uh, then we check if we have if we have one extra parameter then we use it otherwise we say we want one and this as a scale on x and same thing goes for scale while and then simply we do we do stuff we want to do um, say we want uh, the other thing I would like to talk about and um, this will be uh, the ability to send messages and whispers which are like private messages on Twitch I won't cover whispers because they are like the same as messages but only they are <clears throat> received by the recipient uh, but say let's uh, let's write uh, an extra command which will send which will basically send a reply to the user uh, <clears throat> so let's do that let's call it something like func uh, command say reply okay uh, then we set the params then well, what else do we need we basically don't need any params uh, except for the sender name because we will send a reply to this person 
So let's declare a sender variable, sender params zero. And we'll use our twicel node to send message. Basically, some message wants us to. We need to provide, I mean, the text we want to send. So let's say um, hello. Say hello, hello, string sender. Just in case, sender is already a string, it has to be a string, but just in case. Okay, and um, basically this is it. Now we need to add this command to the list. Okay, so we say twice seal commands add say hi. Okay, so every time a person says hi, uh, our game will send a reply. Self command reply. Okay, so we don't need any other parameters to the command. Although we want uh, to ignore any other parameters sent to the command. So say if a person will say like, hi, my name is John and I work as a carpenter or whatever, then it anyways will say hi in reply. Um, so let's test this thing. We launch our game, wait till it connects. We see that it is connected by this message. So now if, we, now if we say hi, it should send us a reply. Great, so the nightbot is, all, <laughs> is already said to uh, say hi to, to people in my chat, but anyways, we see that uh, this thing works. So hello, Dr. Twister, it replied with, uh, with the name we provide it. So basically it gives you like unlimited power, so to say. Uh, you can uh, handle wrong parameters, input, to like send uh, whispers directly to the person that you have used this command the wrong way and, and such and such. So basically this is it. Uh, that is the functionality of the plugin for now. Uh, if you have any suggestions or any issues, you can create an issue on GitHub since this extension is available on GitHub. It is available also also on Asset Library. Uh, it is not available yet uh, for 3.0. I have just submitted it for for review. It is already available for 2.x and an updated version is uh, already posted so hopefully in a week or so uh, it will be available on the asset library. Anyways, I will leave a link under this video to for you to be able to download it uh, in any case even if it's not yet available in asset library officially. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching and uh, see you.